Welcome to section 3 of the OrientDB Getting Started training, Building a Data Model. This section will introduce you to each of the main data modeling features available in OrientDB. We'll begin with storage related items, document, vertex, edge, and property. Next, we will investigate classes and how they can bring structure to your model. Finally, clusters, which provide incredible flexibility in determining your storage strategy while also enabling horizontal scale. First, a broad description starting from the left of the screen. Documents and vertices are the primary storage container of data. Each vertex and document are also referred to as a record. Terminology differs depending if you are referring to a document store or graph database. Vertex is a term to describe a data container or node in a graph of data. Next we have edges and links. These two concepts are the relationships in OrientDB. Links are direct pointers to another document, while an edge is a graph concept representing a direct relationship between two vertices. Last we have properties. Documents, vertices, and edges can all have properties. You can add properties in a schemaless way keeping your data totally flexible, or add varied measures of rules and required schema. A document store is commonly associated with very flexible, unstructured data. This is possible with OrientDB as well. One document can have a completely different set of properties without reservation. Another feature of a document store is to embed one document inside of another. In OrientDB, each document also belongs to a class, which we'll cover shortly. Unlike traditional document stores, OrientDB allows you to create schema in your documents. Beyond this, document stores normally don't provide a facility for creating relationships. OrientDB allows you to create a link to one or more documents in an efficient, performant manner. Each document has a database-wide unique record ID composed of the cluster and position inside of that cluster. Properties can be added to documents, vertices, and edges. Each property has a unique name and a data type. OrientDB has an abundant selection of data types as listed at the right. Properties can also be indexed to speed retrieval and can optionally have various restrictions and requirements applied. A vertex is a storage container in a graph database. Some will refer to vertices as nodes. A vertex is similar to a document in that it can contain properties and be queried. In addition, a vertex has a list of incoming and outgoing edges, which are relationships to other vertices in the graph. Edge is a term used to describe a direct relationship between two vertices. An edge is the magic that provides the amazing performance graph databases can achieve when traversing data. An edge is stored in the database in a similar way to other data, as a document. The document class is a member of this special E class, or one of its derivative classes. As mentioned previously, an edge can contain properties to further enrich the meaning and they also have a to and from property to identify direction. By default, if an edge has no properties, it's created as a lightweight edge, which is similar to a link and has no document of its own. A class is what defines the structure of data elements in your database. You can specify extremely loose and flexible rules or extremely rigid schemas with consistent and predictable values. Classes can inherit from a base class and create polymorphism or subtyping inside of your data model. A class stores its data inside of a cluster and is assigned a default cluster automatically. A class may also be configured to store its data in more than one cluster. The class level is where you can implement a schema full, schema less, or schema mixed model. Schema mixed models have a portion of the data defined with schema but still allows unstructured data to be created in addition. In OrientDB, clusters provide tremendous capability and flexibility determining how your data is stored. You can assign one or multiple clusters as the defined place of storage for a class. The first benefit clusters bring to your deployment is the ability to shard your data and scale storage capacity in a horizontal fashion. You can break your data across several server instances and have an unlimited storage capacity. OrientDB makes easy work of distributed queries by automatically performing MapReduce operations when executing queries across several servers. Another performance enhancement can be realized by partitioning your data into naturally occurring clusters based on your data domain. 
With these segments in place, you can target a query at only the portion of your data, thereby reducing the computational needs up front. The second major benefit clusters bring is the ability to replicate, archive, and manage your data for fault tolerance and performance purposes. OrientDB has an unprecedented multi-master replication capability, meaning each server node you deploy can accept both read and write requests. Automatically behind the scenes, each of these nodes are kept up to date and in sync with a full copy of the replicated cluster. This gives you both scale of handling requests and replicated data. If a node fails, the OrientDB cluster automatically and seamlessly adjusts until the node comes back online. This is the power of clusters.